Hey everyone, it's Allie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a DIY salted caramel hot chocolate from Starbucks. I absolutely love the salted caramel hot chocolate from Starbucks and I had to share with you all how you can create it yourself. It's super duper easy, super duper fun. And when I first made it, I fell in love with it and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do a dupe on how to make your own salted caramel hot chocolate. This bad boy is perfect for when you're sitting by the fire and you want a salted caramel hot chocolate but don't feel like going to Starbucks. Well, boom! Now you can enjoy one from home. I really hope that you guys enjoy this taste alike salted caramel hot chocolate and let's jump into it. So what you need for this dupe of a salted caramel hot chocolate from Starbucks is just a few simple things. First off, you need some caramel syrup. You'll also be needing some whipped cream. Some sea salt. You'll also be needing some hot chocolate. I'm just using some from Smith Switch Mist. You want to make sure you get the kind without marshmallows in it. Just a quick tip. <laughs> oh, and of course you'll be needing some water to make the hot chocolate or you can use milk, your preference. And a cup to put all the goodies in. I'm just using a clear one so they can see what I'm doing. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to go right ahead and put some of the caramel syrup in a cup and then put it in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds just to warm it up. Then what you want to do is you just want to go and take two tablespoons of the hot caramel syrup. It really depends on how big your cup is so you might want to go right ahead and have to play with it to see how much caramel you want. Once you have all of your caramel in the cup, then what you're going to do is you're just going to go and coat the entire cup with caramel. So you just want to roll the caramel all through the entire cup so then the, like, the whole cup is coated with caramel. So once you have it looking like this, now it's time to mix up our hot chocolate. I'm just gonna go and take my warm water and my Swiss Miss packet, and I'm just gonna rip that open, and then pour some of the hot chocolate into my warm water. Storing that bad boy up, so then there's no lumps or anything. I actually needed a few packs, because I had a lot of water, but yeah, now I'm just making sure it's warm, and then I went ahead and heated it up again, because I wanted my hot chocolate to be hotter, so I'm just stirring that bad boy up. Now, pulling our caramel cup back, and then we're going to go right ahead and pour our hot chocolate into it. Once you have it like this, now it's the fun part. Grab it already with. I'm just gonna go and top off this bad boy with some of this. I'm not a good swirler, like I can't really make a good swirl on the top. I was practicing on a plate and then I ended up using all the whipped cream and the whipped cream went everywhere as you guys see. So I'm not really that good of a swirl on whipped cream, but you guys might do better. I would love to see your pictures on Instagram. But now just taking the excess um, caramel that we had extras from before and drizzling that on top, then grabbing my sea salt and sprinkling some of that right on top. And voila! We have our salted caramel hot chocolate dupe from Starbucks. So exciting. I love the salted caramel hot chocolate and now you can make one from home. Placing that bad boy on a plate with a few caramels. And there we go, we have our salted caramel hot chocolate. So exciting. Time to try this bad boy. So good and hot in my tummy. Oh my gosh, Allie, you have a milk stash. I know you're not supposed 
toast too, but I like to drink my hot chocolate out of a straw. It's just so yummy. I really hope that you guys fall in love with the salted caramel like I did. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I love you all so much. Until next time, sip up. Okay, so the first thing that's common, white girl, is a cracked iPhone.